Is smaller better when it comes to compact digital cameras? Pentax thought so when it designed the new Pentax Q interchangeable lens camera system, available in matte black and white tan colors for about $800 with a prime 47mm equivalent lens. It's the world's smallest digital interchangeable lens model. Yet despite its size, it's a tough camera, featuring a strong magnesium alloy frame that helps protect the electronics inside and the large 3-inch LCD panel on back, which features 460,000 dot resolution and a wide 170-degree viewing angle. On top, there's even a dedicated flash hot shoe and a main control dial that lets you set modes without scrolling around the LCD monitor. Plus, the slider button on the left side releases the pop-up flash. And for even more light, you can mount a Pentax external flash unit, although in this case the flash is larger than the camera. That same hot shoe can also hold the optional optical viewfinder, which makes it easier to compose in very bright light when using the prime kit lens. This camera is small enough to fit in the palm of my hand, and even with the optional zoom lens attached, it will fit in a jacket pocket. Compared to the new Sony NEXC3, the Q body is similar in thickness, but shorter from side to side. It's not really fair to compare the size of the kit lenses to each other, since the Sony lens shown has an 18 to 55 millimeter zoom range, and the Pentax is a prime 47 millimeter. The most dramatic differences are found between the two imaging sensors in these models. The Q uses a small 12.4 megapixel backlit sensor, borrowed from the point and shoot class, while the Nex uses a much larger 16 megapixel APS-C sensor from the DSLR class. The small sensor in the Q raises doubts about its image quality, especially in low light. However, its sensor-based image stabilization may help it out there, and the assortment of lenses available at launch might also appeal to street photographers and others looking for creative alternatives. At launch, there were five lenses. Two of these, the Prime 47mm f1.9 standard kit lens and the standard 28-80mm to equivalent zoom, feature autofocus and a five-blade lens shutter. While the oddly named Toy Lens Wide and Toy Lens Telephoto have fixed apertures and rely on the camera's electronic shutter for exposure, the Q also records full HD 1080p video compared to 720p on the Sony. But based on the price of this camera, that might not be enough for photographers if its still photo quality isn't stellar.